Hello everyone, I am Hema Priya. On behalf of Sri Arbindo Society, I welcome you all. In this video, I am going to talk about new age experiential innovative ideas, which was developed by uh, Zero Investment Innovation for Education Initiatives, which is called ZIIEI. So in this video, I am going to share you a zero investment idea, which was brought up from the state of Dadar and Nagar. And there was an innovative teacher who created an innovative case study and that case study names like uh, Simplify Language Learning. We all know that how language is important. So it may be English or regional languages, any language, the way of communication, the way of language learning is so important. So when a, when a small uh, child is, uh, is environment is speaking in an English, that uh, student will really uh, get fluent in English. When that environment, when he or she circulated with uh, all the people who speak in regional languages, that students will re speak in regional languages. So languages influences people by, uh, by, by making the other people's surroundings. So there is a teacher who wants to uh, make a, a learning, simplified language learning into very simple. And so that they created a small innovative idea which is called know the meaning and answer. So first of all, a student should know about the meanings. Before knowing the meanings, a student should know about the words. There are a lot of words which, uh, which really, uh, sometimes it will be really difficult or a little bit complexity to learn those words. So the first step is that learning words. So uh, the teacher will give, uh, teacher will make this as a fun activity uh, to uh, to questions and also and also to discuss the answers too. So the teacher will be telling that you know uh, just a small activity. It is like a small activity learning outcome, which is that uh, sit and stand up. So the teacher will ta tell all the groups to sit. When the people when the when the teacher says sit, all the all students should have to stand. It should be like opposite manner. When the teacher says all all of you stand up all the students should sit. So there is a uh, like, you know, uh, interchanging of the sit and stand. So they will do that. And while doing that, they're going to, uh, teacher is going to give some words. So giving some words, which really makes that, uh, that words to get the meaning. So all the students responsibility is to get the meaning of that. Same as well as like that, moving front. When the, when the teacher tells move front, all the, all the students should go back, backwards. When the teacher tells you have to go backward, the, then uh, the students have to move forward. So there is a, a reciprocity of these uh, words. So when these words are telling in a reciprocity, I think this will not only it makes just learning in the correct way. When you do this reciprocity, they really learn a little more, uh, more, more, than, more, more than what they can learn. And also another thing is left and right. We all know that if, if the teacher says uh, raise your right hand, the student should raise their left hand. If the student says rise, if the teacher says raise your left hand, the, the students will do it, do it as a right hand. So this is the way I think uh, doing this activity, not only doing this uh, reciprocity activity, the teacher used to, uh, used to give uh, students the words as well as the meanings to know about and to explore more about. So you can also use this small, simple, simple innovative idea in your activities. And if you wanted to know more about an innovative idea, you can subscribe to our channel called ZIIEI. If you're watching this video on the YouTube, uh, in the Facebook, make sure you like our page. And thank you so much for watching.